Hi, I'm uh, my name is Anand Yathiraj, and I'm an experimental physicist from the Department of Physics and Physical Oceanography. Uh, I guess the physics that I study is the physics of soft materials, and uh, that's actually a very broad term. It's a term that encompasses a lot of materials. Uh, it encompasses all the bio biology, all the biophysics, for example. The, you know, the human body is composed of things that are soft, that are not quite liquid, but are not hard solids like stainless steel either. And uh, so the, uh, the question that's interesting to me is, how do these soft materials self-assemble? Uh, probably one of the key features is that they're made up of molecules, objects, uh, building blocks that are much larger than than atoms, like the elemental atoms of, that make up steel. And these much larger macro atoms or macro molecules move around much slower and uh, form structures that are much uh, easier to break apart. So think of things like, for example, uh, yogurt or cheese or, uh, or you know, your blood or your muscles and things like that. And uh, I guess the question you might ask is what is uh, what makes such materials interesting or useful? And uh, one aspect of this is uh, simply that these are the kinds of materials that make up living matter. So studying the basic physics of how these materials self-assemble is quite interesting. And uh, and that's sort of one strong focus in my lab downstairs in the basement. And uh, the other one is, uh, as it turns out, a lot of these materials, so for example, one, one theme that I'm studying is these very idealized spheres that are about 10,000 times the size of atoms. So they're very large atoms, if you like. And these things self-assemble. Uh, you can look at them under a microscope. And... Uh, the self-assembly uh, forms nice crystals, which actually are also found in nature. They're called opals. And uh, as you know, opals reflect light very strongly. And that's because the crystals have a spacing, a lattice spacing between the building blocks that's about the same size as the length scale of light, of the wavelength of light. And uh, so that's... And second aspect that's interesting with these soft materials is that they often have interesting optical properties. And so they're, inter they're of interest, for example, in uh, the photonics industry and things like that.